Okay, uh, beautiful day today, nice and sunny. I uh, ended up cleaning all the yard up. Move stuff over, I moved that, uh, that lid. This thing is still countertop thing. Um, stuff I threw here. And the scrap. And then uh, we cleaned all this area up here. I'm gonna get rid of that gate thing there too. That barred thing. And um, just organizing the buggies. I'm gonna trash the buggies, I think. Um, I used them for when I was doing uh, those apartment buildings for the eleva elevators, but I got the black ones now. These black ones should be fine, hopefully. Um, I'm not sure, sometimes the old elevators are not that big. That's the bin right now. Actually, I can load that up completely with, with stuff. Maybe all the computer cases will go in there. Load that up and then load it, everything. I'm gonna make it a, a good load. Um, anyways, uh, so it's not bad. So right now, uh, I have 400 um, juice bottles, not, I mean, uh, plastic bottles ready. Actually, uh, this is what I have left. So I had 400 and, and then this. So I'm, I'm seeing about $80, $90 in plastic, but right now, so we have 400 there. Hopefully I can load all this in. I have 100, 180. Um, these um, milk jugs, 50 the one liters, 152 uh, juice boxes. So I uh, have 280. No, it's a 140. Yeah, 280. And the grand total comes out to 1,062. So 106 dollars should be some of that. Okay, so let me get uh, organized here. We start loading it up. Hopefully, it all fits. You know, I just never could tell with these. I caught it wrong one time, and then you're screwed. And let me just get a picture of this. Something for a thumbnail, maybe, or something. Thumbnails they pick from YouTube, and sometimes there's nothing. Then I have nothing, and it looks like a bad thumbnail but it's it's actually a good video but the thumbnail sucks I can't believe how hot it's got like it's extremely hot just like that overnight got that hot I bring too many too many jugs and containers they get overwhelmed there so and then I can load it in and back and forth so I'll do this batch first then I'll do another batch after I'll count some more that's why I don't take the white car the van because you can only do process so, so many at a time right Takes a lot of room up. But those ones are a little smaller. Those are the Costco bags.
takes up a lot of room out. See that? Full house already. Okay, so let's take that in. Okay. Okay, so someone will drop this off. And they'll take it here, so. Well, I know. I already asked. Two seconds in the boat. Okay, so we got a hundred and six dollars and uh, twenty cents, I believe, or something like that. Okay, I gotta go back. Kind of gave me a bit of a problem. She says, Well, can you open the bags? I said, Okay, well, if I open the bags, it'll all gonna fall out. So, open two bags, they'll fell on the floor because everything I put in there is compressed. And I said, Once open the bag, it's gonna be like recording, it's all gonna come out. So, two bags, you know, one third dropped out of two bags. So then she got the point. I don't know why she, this one girl is just an idiot there. You know, like it's not like the first time I've done this. Like, you know, I, uh, you know, they're not worried about numbers. Just that goofy. That's all. They're like weird. Then she goes, "What's the one liter?" Well, I separate the one liter because they separated. The other girl threw it all in the same pile as the other stuff. So whatever. It's okay. I told her all I can do. You guys complain too much. I'm. I'll mix all the bags up and they can count it themselves and put the money in my account. I'll put, I, would, I might end up doing that eventually because I'll just take the cans of myself because cans are high dollar value and it's only a couple bags. All that fluffy stuff, you know, you can have tons and tons of bags and it's not only like $10 or even $4.50, right? So, more dilemma there. Just uh, stupid. Dumb people. A lot of people dumping garbage out right now. Maybe being a nice day, Sunday, right? But I need to get those bottles. As long as they got bagged, even if I don't sell them, as long as they're bagged, it's the main thing. But uh, I'll just do a little buzz just around a couple blocks here. Maybe something will pop up. So it kind of uh, sucks without having a radio. And I looked around for radios. There's nothing used that I can see. And some want to... Uh, I don't know if they're the right radios, they're like $150. I don't know. I want to pay something like 40 bucks. This van is gonna retire soon. I'm not gonna pay big money for something that it's gonna, you know. I drove without a radio on my big truck for five years, so it's not gonna make no difference. All you hear is depressing news and all fake stuff. You know, the news is just a joke. Are they saying the same thing over and over or the same music over and over? I mean some of the music's okay. Can't argue with that, but the thing is, it's my buddies here. Hold on, we're free bike here. I like to film everything, so camera's acting goofy. Hopefully, it's recording. I don't know if Joe Pro's driving crazy. This one uh, has his own mind. If I talk too much, it shuts off or it does all these weird things, and then if I don't. We like turn the camera off, then I can't turn it on. It does weird stuff, and then I have to shut it off again. And I haven't. And this was a new one I brought too that time. Well, it wasn't. Well, this actually is the new one I brought. I bought a new one, then I bought a couple used ones. And the, the other one gave me problems too. Broke down. The switch went. One shut off or something. Something or something happened to it. So anyways, it's okay. So. Head back to the yard, start counting bottles, and we'll continue. But there's a few things up the road here we'll get to grab first. Okay. That's what I like to see here. Look at those. 
bunch of scooters. Right in a dirty aluminum pile. This speaker here too. Amplified speaker. Might be a good one actually. They usually work. Surround sound receiver. I saw another bike around the corner. Let's see if it's there. Bike sitting right there, see? Why is it parked like that? Tires look good, but so I'm gonna come back a little bit later. I hate to see some kid. I don't see it's too dense to bushes, but it's probably a free bike, but just never know. I'll leave that for now, but I'll, after my ball depot is still there, I'll grab it. Okay, let's grab the one's not here. Someone got it. Grab his chair. It was like a little shelf there, but it had aluminum bar on it. Just like that. 20 minutes later, it's gone. It was that guy's looking. But they, they, could be just someone living in the area that needed it, maybe. You just don't know. So I already got a load in my van. I'm not even trying. Scooters are at the bonus. That's good because I'm getting 36 cents a pound for that. Which is not bad. 35 cents in reality. Not too bad. Okay. Okay, that's my load here. I got 2186 here. 2086. No, 2186, yeah. Two, 2186. So it should be two thousand uh eighteen dollars and sixty cents, something like that. Or two hundred, sorry, two hundred. Ugh, a lot of counting here, I'm forgetting too much counting. And I still have my milk bottles, be not that much, maybe like 20 bucks there, 20 something, and some miscellaneous. But I'll do the miscellaneous tomorrow. We'll bag those up later when I come back, just a lot of everything's bagged. I have to go for dinner while at home for six, so. Sure, a lot of cans and bottles. The big money is the cans and pop and beer cans. That's where the numbers add up big time. Just I don't want to overwhelm them, that's a problem, they get goofy there. Every time you bring too many bottles, you just it's like no it's not hard, it's just like okay, you got five of one item, boom, that's that's a certain number. Five another item, it's all organized. Each bag has a hundred here, a uh, hundred in here, so there's no there's no guesswork. I'm saving them tons of money. Because what I'm gonna do is probably just bottle cans myself mix beer not beer mix pop and juice whatever all plastic and just garbage together because the numbers won't be that much so they will can't rip me off it's these numbers are the big numbers flies everywhere they get aggressive these flies they can attack you all the time that's the problem they had some fly tape there's not many flies right now but it, like the materials gone so i'm gonna have a hose here i can spray it down and and then you know what i'm saying and you know it's a sweetness smell they want but anyways okay so we'll take this back stay tuned and we'll give you the exact total for this bottle run today 
for both of them and then we'll bag this up and we'll know the whole numbers from everything I got that week okay fabric protection mm. the full my tickets I'm gonna see if the cracked open oh, Inside Ball Depot, I grabbed a couple of pots to kick it around. Mm -hmm. This is a shrink wrap thing. So I'm sitting around, so I took a pot. You know, pot steel, but the people that drop off stuff all over the place here. I figured, you know, I'm sitting around, I'm grabbing it. Okay, so we're in uh, another another area of town here, Surrey still, but I'm gonna see if there's anything here. So we just kind of look around. Okay, tire sitting here. Never seen it here, but it must have been here for a long time. There's no rat nest inside it. Okay, well, I've never seen it here, but I think it's been there. Just didn't notice it. Maybe they cut the bushes recently. Who knows? Okay. Speakers here. It's not hardly, hardly worth anything, but... <laughs> Salvage the wire off it, and then the rest goes to shred. Last time I found one, and I found a pair, and I found a pair before. I've got two pairs right now. I found that uh, some kind of coffee thing it was sitting in the middle of nowhere on the side of this road. I tried filming, but the camera didn't click on, so I said, forget it. It's just more trash pickup than really scrap. Sometimes you gotta clean up the neighborhood too, right? Even though it's not worth a lot. I keep a uh, meet up a couple of my fans here. Hey, how you doing? There's my fans right there, hanging around. A couple fans. Ugh. I'll take them. They're heavy. The cords too. One more sitting on the side of the road. It's got a big heavy mortar on there, probably 20 pound, 25 pound mortar. It's got some fuel in there. Drain the fuel. Take a look around. I'll go back to go back to my bottle count. Okay. Starting that day, you know, it's gonna be all these beater lawnmowers left over the winter. People try to start them, and they're all junk now. They seize up the cord cords or all shot. Carburetors are plugged. That one's strictly garbage for me. It's gonna be take the motor off, first dump the fuel, take the motor off, and then uh, dirty aluminum. That's what adds up there. You need a lot of those for weight. Okay, one more street and we're going back. Okay. It's got a little junk in his yard there. I was talking to the builder in the corner. It might be, I gave him a card. In case he wants a hazmat inspection to turn the building down. 
figured I might as well grab my two jugs because I'm going to count my jugs up next. Um, pretty nice guy, 5.46, so I'm going to be home by 6.30, so... I got a little bottle here. I mean, it's not, not the point of... T 10 cents is really not worth my time, but, you know, it's it's actually cleaning up the environment, too. Because that will get smashed, it'll be ground up glass in the ground. You know how it goes. But since I'm here, I stopped for a second. But I, I just noticed, when, like, just so many unfriendly people out there. Like, if I say hi to someone, they don't even say nothing to me. Look, give you time of day, they don't even look at you. A lot of people, it's just unbelievable. So I, I, last time I was driving, street scrapping, there was an Asian guy. He said hi to me. And I said to him, you know what? First time someone had said hi to me, I said hi to so many people and they just give you a dirty face or don't say nothing. And, you know, I said, you, you know, people should be more friendly in the world. Why are people so bitter, right? I mean, you're just saying hi. It's not, not touching you, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, uh, it's kind of a dilemma. Anyways, uh, we'll get back to the yard. We'll look at the totals. I, I actually did, did really good that last week because I took scrap back yesterday. And I, don't, I don't know if it's around 1,000 bottles. And I got over 3,000 today. So I averaged over $100 a day. Only went four times out last time. So that's pretty good. So we'll see you a little totals sooner when I get back. Okay, so uh, all the milk jugs, everything's wrapped up. There's nothing in containers. I had... Uh, 363 there and then we got 40 we know we're gonna cash in there's these other ones here I'm not sure about these ones here rainbow mountain blend it's like a smells like cigar smoke crazy it's a drink who the hell would drink that huh like this is coffee and cigar smoke that will take back this might be American so I might just crush it but this is what they say see premium boss so I'm not sure about these these ones could be American I'm not really sure about that one so there's 40 there 363 so 400 uh, we had today 3,048 bottles, $324.80. I think I cashed in 1,000 yesterday. So that's already a 40, 420, 480, 40, that's about 4,500 bottles I'm thinking in the last uh, week, in four days, 4,500 bottles I got. So, um, Pretty good total, so uh, so that means I averaged over a hundred dollars. If you average it out, it's probably like more like a. So we had four, but one hundred ten dollars on average. But actually more because I don't need to cut my glass bottles. Just put that there so the, these don't roll away. Otherwise, they'll roll. I have glass bottles here. That's part of it too. That's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's thirty bucks here. I would say there's lots of small bottles mixed in here. So thirty, say three hundred. So that would be like forty-eight hundred. Wow. Average one hundred twenty bottles a night. Well, that's a big, big numbers. Or no, I mean a thousand and twenty. Sorry. So that's up quite a bit. So this is my garbage pile, so well, I'm going to go back to that that deli place, take all the pallets and garbage, which I said I would do that, take it away for free, sweep the ground up, and I would charge him for disposal costs, nothing else. If it costs 50 bucks, he, he pays 50 or 60, but I'm going to see if some of the pallets are sellable. So I might take the van there and grab some of, some of the pallets, or grab one pallet and ask the guy buy, if he buys it. If he doesn't, I'll load it all for garbage, it doesn't matter to me. Um, Anyway, so everything's ready to go. Um, the bin, like I say, is going to be dumped possibly tomorrow. It's hard to say, it depends on my timeline. But it be, should be full tomorrow. Right? So they put stuff in everything today, I put in there. So I want to strip that tomorrow, all the computers, all this loose stuff here. Put everything, all this goes in the bin basically. I just don't know if I can sell that. What's your input? Does that look like it's 
sellable like an old thing? Would someone put that in a garden? Probably not, huh? I mean, they're going to use it, but... Base state, 26 ounces or something. So, I don't know. So, maybe, maybe a planter, actually, might make a planter, actually. Maybe I can try to sell it for, like, I don't know, whatever. Make a planter, actually, might look good. So, um, this one, like I say, I'll, I'll smash the wood off. That will go into the guy's garbage pile. It depends how, if I sell the pallets, I might just do everything for free. It's okay to me. We'll see. I appreciate the guy calling me. He gave me a lot of good stuff. I made good money. I made like a thousand bucks off those grinders, huh? So that was part of the, that deal too. And then mixers and copper mortars and stuff. So it was, it was really good. In general, it was really good. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.